Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this how to play video, I'm going to take a look at the Highlander Face Hunter. The natural evolution of Highlander Hunter, I suppose, for the current meta game. Because the meta game in Hearthstone is very aggressive, you want to kill people before they do tons of random stuff. And what a better way to kill them than just going face and topping the curve at 7 with Dino Timur Brand so that you have a King Crest that also goes straight to the dome. The most popular decks in the game right now are the Soul Demon Hunter and Cyclone Mage. And what's a deck that's good against them both? This one. The regular Face Hunter has some problems against the Soul Demon Hunter, because Soul Demon Hunter is so good at defending, but the Highlander variant has a bit more punch, because Dino Tamer Brand is there, then there's obviously Zephyrus, so you just have more things that deal damage and you're able to overcome the Soul Demon Hunter's defenses more effectively. We are a tiny bit slower than the regular Face Hunter, but the added punch that you have with this deck more than makes up for that. In this deck, Lawkeeper Paul Kelt is also it's really, really good. It's okay in regular Face Hunter, but in this one, first it tutors Dynatame and Brand for you, then it gives you Dragon Bane. That is incredible, and Lawkeeper Paul Kelt is just very strong in this deck. Other than that, you play this deck like you would play a Face Hunter. You try to get some of those 1 and 2 drops early in the game, then you try to go face a lot, trade when necessary, deal damage when not. We win those hero powers and just rule the game. A little word on Toxic Reinforcements is in order. Toxic Reinforcements isn't typically a great keep in this deck. You sometimes keep it if you have a plan on how to best utilize it, but you want to get some minions on the board very early on and start chipping in that damage. So getting Toxic Reinforcements, spending several turns just hero powering early when you really want to have that minion pressure isn't that great. And Toxic Reinforcement is a card that I like better in this Highlander variant than in the pure face variant, because this has a bit more added punch and this can take a game a couple of turns later. So Toxic Reinforcements, even when it's played a little bit later in the game, you still have enough time to get those Lepanomes out there. And you're still in the game, unlike with a pure face hunter much of the time. Obviously, Tour Guide can help you make your hero power go zero, so you have that one more turn that you can get Toxic Reinforcements easily out. And also, the True Aim Crescent can be really useful with the Lepenomes, because if you have a target that has at least 4 health, you can just hit your face into it with True Aim Crescent, and those Lepenomes will immediately attack there, even on the turn when they're summoned. So that's another nice little trick that you can do with this deck to deal more damage. Another really interesting card in this deck is Zephyrus the Great, because there are so many ways that you can use Zephyrus. Sometimes you have a plan that you can weave in damage a little bit at a time and then use your hero power and you will save Zephyrus for lethal, so Zephyrus will be your finisher. And at other times you will use Zephyrus earlier in the game to just maintain control and keep pushing that damage. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also support the content that I create by joining as a member here on YouTube, or joining as a subscriber on Twitch where I live stream 6 days a week, so check down below in the description for a link to my Twitch channel if you're interested in live streams. And now, let's go take a look at this Facelander Hunter in action. I can do this. Yeah, I can do this. Let's give this a try. Kelt. Not bad. So up against the Demon Hunter. I'm still having some problems with my mouse. We'll see how that works too. <laughs> when it rains, it pours. Let's, let's try to open up with this. I don't think there's a reason for me to use the hero power, because I have things that I want to do next turns with my mana. So I can conserve this zero cost hero power until it's possibly actually needed. Hi Dave, it's good to see you. This just face more and face. Let's try that. But we'll see how it goes. Demon Companion, eh? Okay, 
that's that's all right so far. I probably want to equip the true aim crescent and kill off that minion, and then play the transfer student and get a lucky. I believe this is the approach I want to take here. So next turn, when the Felmo wakes up, it has a better chance of going face. And also no no trade is being offered for the wand maker. And Demon Hunter should of course have a way to kill the transfer student without using the Kolek, so that they would be able to able to just get a good board set up here. And Bob some thank you so much for the chair. I appreciate that. Alright, that's a piece of good news. Alright. That's good. That's really good. All right, but face more. It's going to do the face thing, right? Mm, good, good face more. So I could kill off both of these, right? If I want to track, I want to track now, right? <laughs> All right, Bob. Well, I do play on NA somewhat as as well. I'm a little bit uncertain how to do this. I'm a lot uncertain, yeah. I, I just didn't have enough energy. It has to be like this. Mm. It really... That, w that was far from ideal. Ideal was... This was correct, that I got the Felmo to hit into that one and saved the Polkelt at 5 health, so Polkelt doesn't die to the AoE pieces, if I wanted to play Polkelt. But what I really should have done this turn was to play the Trekking, and then Polkelt the next turn. So that was gonna be payday, I hope so, I truly hope so. I think that's pretty right. Good luck, have fun. Thanks. Uh, Obato, is Pure Paladin good? Yes, Pure Paladin is really good. I think the Libran Paladin with the Pyromancer is slightly better, but they are both doing really well. Well, what Bob Tom is <laughs> also telling you right here, right now. Alright, time to take away the time to take away the War Blades. I should have used the Hero Power to last turn, actually. Yeah, should have used the Hero Power. Well, it's my bad. Go face with this, go face with this, go face with that. I guess I go face with this. I'm drawing Dragon Bane next turn. I'll just hero power there. Alright. Hi, Koptus. Good to see you. Maybe, maybe I can do something like this. But what are the what are the exact card choices? Let's play Pocket Dragon Brain Face Hunter. Yeah, that that also works. It, it works just fine. Fires of Vengeance. Tree control shaman. Well, I mean, once people complete the climb, then they can just play around with stuff. I don't have a great play for this turn. Playing this face stalker without hero power is out of the question. Maybe this coin animal companion. Mm, it's always tougher. Let's try that. This makes for a weak turn for next turn though, with the Demon Companion hero power. We'll see. Well, 
Well, now it's toxic reinforcement, zero power. Alright, I can get behind that. That's a piece of good news. Maybe. Though I don't I don't like toxic reinforcements in Phase Hunter at the moment. But this Highlander variant is slightly slower, so it can use some of the cards that are slightly too weak to be used in the regular version. All that slicing was really surprising. Don't know what that was all about. If I play a Polkalt now, I draw Bran for 5. I want to play a Polkalt next turn, so I draw Dragon Bane for... S no, I will draw Bane for 5 and I will draw Dragon Bane for 6. But I don't get to hero power. So I will play Polkalt on 6. To get Bran for 7. So that I get to do this now. So that I advance the quest. And then I will get the Initiate and the Demon Companion and the Hero Power next turn. Yeah, that, that's got to be the plan. That has got to be the plan here. There's going to be some AoE, but I mean the Lepenomes are still going to deal some damage. Is the Agro Highlander Hunter? Yeah. Something like that. Don't want the pressure played out there. Because I have the option to do initiate pressure plate hero power. Hold the demon companion back. I, wonder. I might do that. There's gonna be some kind of board clear anyway. And pressure plate might might even be useful. We'll see. Let's give this a try. Target the Lepanomes on the board. Then the Lepanomes will deal six damage. Next turn will be Polkelt Hero Power. And then the turn after that is going to be the Bran. Is that going to be enough? I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. Oh. But I do want the Bran. I want the Bran on 7. Because Unleash, Kill Command. That's 7 damage. I want to pick up the Bran for next turn. This doesn't quite set up for lethal, though. Bran is 8 damage. So let's see. And there's a chance that the Demon Hunter can find the healing weapon, of course. Okay, that's one card. That, one card wasn't discounted. Pressure Plate hits the bigger minion. But the Demon Hunter is able to find the Warblades. So, Demon Hunter might be able to get a 2 turn lethal set up here. That's what I'm concerned about. Demon Hunter could have lethal next turn. Is that one damage going to matter? I've already seen all the slices. There are there's one discounted card left. So let's say there's going to be five damage, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus four. I don't. I don't think that one damage is going to matter. I don't think there's a position where that matters. So I'm just going face here. I've already seen one blade dance. I've seen all the slices. Also, if there's a blade dance and there's a lapidary, then there's always a way to delay it to the king crush anyway. So it's just a question, how much can the Demon have to heal now? Really sweet, 
Ouch. That was tough. So I have 8 damage. And the Demon Hunter goes to 9. Oh no. Oh no. Demon Hunter goes to 9. I'm one off. Yeah, Demon Companion can't deal that one damage. Dragon Bane. Dragon Bane that goes face and the Demon Companion that charges. The Demon Companion that charges is the out. Then I also have to win the Dragon Bane roll. Okay. Pretty tough things, but hey. That's the out. This has to charge. It does charge. 6 plus 2, not enough. Dragon Vein has to hit face. That's the out. 50%. So first I needed to win a 1 in 3 and then I needed to win a 50%er. So I had 1 in 6 to win the game. But I think that was the only out. So, 1 in 6, not too bad. An adorable infestation. I still need to try this. Hope I don't get the charge one. Because this one is most likely to die. Well, maybe it doesn't die. It didn't die. Nice. Am I going to kill the Spellwing? I think I will, yeah. I can kill the Spellwing. But I can buff the charge minion. And go face. Obviously now there's an arcane missiles. That may or may not hit these minions. It might also hit my face. Like if it only hits my face then... What then? Well, now lots of stuff can happen. I don't have anything to contest that. Do you magic tricks seriously? There's also a coin left. Zero Kostake missiles. Okay. It, it looks like the mage is, mage is getting to do some things. But there isn't enough mana to play... No, but might get the mana giant going soon. What if there's a mana giant coming up? What if that card is a mana giant? Is that the only explanation for the evocation play? I think something like that. So I probably need to try to freeze the Sorcerer's Apprentice and save Zephyrus to give me a death. For the mana giant. Alternatively, if this happens, then I'll just get a pressure plate out there too. So now if a spell is cast, then the apprentice dies anyway. That's one dead apprentice now. Bonus Salarians are tough. Is there a dragon? No dragon, okay, good. I don't have to kill this. I'm just go with this and go face. This is freezing trip anyway. Solarian cannot attack. But what is the card that was kept? I don't know. Oh, it was Ross. Okay. Always Huffer. 
No way to make good use of Tsepras here, nope. The bad Huffer will die to the Ross. So it means she doesn't have to do anything with it. Hmm. How do I ensure enough damage? Do I need to kill the Solarian? I may need to kill the Solarian, yeah. At this point I think I have to. Because I couldn't kill the Frost Whisper. And maybe I can find enough damage slowly over time with Zepris. It's still possible. Toxic reinforcements, yeah, I take that. Hero power and hit phase. Okay. Can I find the damage before the mage has enough damage? Because there's also a chance that I may have to use Zephyrus to defend myself at some point. That could happen. Many spellkins. That only does damage to minions. Stealth poisonous. Not quite enough. That's still going to be lethal setup for next turn. Mage has seven on board. This one will die, of course. So next turn, Hero Power, Zephyrus, Fireball. Wins the game if there's no secrets. Was, is the mage able to pick up a secret? Secrets are the scary part. Nothing else matters, right? No, it's only secrets. Or lethal. But it didn't look like there was going to be lethal. Zephyrus to win the game, with that fireball right there. Pow. Mage is dead. I think it might be too greedy. I have 1600 dust, what is the best legendary to buy? You want... Initiate. That's going to be initiate opener. You really want to build decks. You don't care about individual legendaries as much. You think about how how do you make decks out of them, and that is the key question. Now I could drop in a tour guide. Toxic reinforcement tour guide, but then I still couldn't do phase more next turn. I think this is just phase more now and go phase. Next one is probably going to be hero reinforcements hero power. This will be killed now though. One way or another it will be killed. There's no way the mage is going to leave it alive. Oh, it says yeah, Koinar Ko came. Wait, what? That didn't make any sense. Now I get to kill this one. I could use a durable infestation to make this survive. But it would still be pingable, it would be tradable. Well, it is an alternative line. Toxic reinforcements, tour guide, adorable infestation. I might even go for it. I'll go for this one. Cool. 
I'll take the trade on the spell damage minion. I don't want to leave the mage with a spell damage minion there. I'm trying to bait the mage into using some of those missiles. And missiles can also, of course, they can go face. They don't always hit the minions. So if the missiles go face, then there's just so many so many things that can happen. No. Couldn't get the good stuff there. Well, we'll see. How do you get the cool profile pick? Win games. Win games and you'll get it. Now with the Bran. Bran probably means that if there's no mirror images by 7, I'm in a good spot. Do I want to trade away the spell wing? Or do I just go face with everything? I think I'm just going face with everything here. At this point. Let's just go face. I'll continue to play my favorite deck face hunter. With or no film. Well, I have always liked the one with the film more. Some people, for some inexplicable reason, tried to play without Felmo early in the expansion, but that seemed nonsensical. What's your favorite Highlander deck right now? There aren't any great Highlander decks, I guess this is the best one. Are there any other Highlander decks right now? Highlander decks really aren't in... aren't in very... aren't doing that well right now. Yeah, fight is fine. Getting spells to cost more is always good. Just empty my hand, complete my quest, get some Lepenoms out there. Mage has to do something about this. It's two more turns before Bran. Bran is one off if all of these are killed. With spells costing a little bit more, Chenvala isn't, isn't getting that much done. It's literally impossible for the mage to get get another proc from Chenvala this turn. Can't do it, all the spells cost at least two. This, this game is really close one, goes right down the wire. There is a risk that these may end up frozen. I want to set up that lethal. I don't want any of these to be frozen. So I'm just setting up that lethal here. Alright, mage. Taunt or secret. Or you're dead. Has to be taunt or secret. Freezing my face doesn't do it. There could be lethal, of course. But that's highly unlikely. Yeah, and as you can see, if I hadn't went face, then the... If, or if I had went face, then the Lepenos would have been frozen. And now the mage has to generate a random taunt. Is it there? Could be a secret too. Secret could work. Vaporize or Ice Barrier. Those are the options. And if I had... If I had went face, I wouldn't have this lethal set up. But now, the mage will fight me wherever the action is. But ow. Dead. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more.